All right, here's how to put a new hand grip on a bicycle. First of all, we remove the old grip. We just cut it up the middle with scissors and peeled it off. If you go trying to, to get it off and save it, then it's much more work. Uh, so the secret ingredient is alcohol. So if you put rubbing alcohol inside of the grip before you slip it on, then that will lubricate it and make it slip on easily, and then it will quickly evaporate, leaving the rubber to stick onto the handlebar. So let's give it a shot here. I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on the bar itself. Oh, that's good. I'm going to put a little bit inside the grip. Oh, that is also good. So now we've got alcohol in the grip and on the bar. We slide it on. Holy cow, that's wow. easy. Looky there. Looky there. Yeehaw. Got some live action. All right. Live action. Yee Whoa, that worked. Ow! Now, if you have any open cuts like I happen to have in my hand from before, <laughs> <laughs> it'll disinfect them. That hurts. <coughs> so put that on there. These, uh, we're putting on some uh, ODI grips on a BMX bike. These are actually made in the United States of America. That's where I live, so that's pretty cool. So, and then with your end cap, there's different types of end caps. This one is just a regular plug, so you just pressure fit it inside of there. Jimmy, is that tire working? Ta-da! Alright, then on the brake lever side, we had we undid our brake lever with an Allen wrench, moved it out, uh, and then put the grip on, and then adjusted the brake lever back to where it was snug against the grip. So that's it. And just a little rubbing alcohol, and it, it goes on real easy. And then give it... Uh, you know, half an hour to dry. You can even put it out in the sun and that'll make it dry faster. And then they're off to the races.